Welcome back. Energy has become one of the major issues on the ballot for the 2020 presidential election. President Trump and Joe Biden spoke out on the oil industry during last week's debate. Would he close it down falls, the oil industry? It falls, w would you close down falls, the oil industry? By the way, industry? I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I would that's transition. a big statement. That's it is a big statement. That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh. My next guest is out with a new uh, Fox Business op-ed titled, Joe Biden's Energy Comments Are a Mix of Incoherent and Terrifying. Joining me right now is North Dakota Senator and Senate Armed Services and Budget Committee member Kevin Kramer. Senator, it's good to have you. Thanks very much for being here. And an end of fracking and a transitioning of the oil industry will have a major impact on your constituents in North Dakota. Tell us about it. Well, were they ever? I mean, I've watched North Dakota transform itself from a, uh, an out-migration state to one of the fastest-growing states in the country as a result of the uh, not just the invention of fracking, but the ability to frack horizontally, which has un, you know untrapped uh, billions of barrels of oil and, of course, natural gas. Not just in North Dakota, but places like Pennsylvania, and uh, it, it's it has turned the United States from a uh, dependent country, dependent on other countries like in the Middle East or Venezuela, to a net exporter of oil and gas just since Donald Trump has become president. So, and I don't think, Maria, that maybe even some economists completely understand how important oil and gas and frankly the energy industry is to the value chain of our entire economy. I mean, there is nothing we grow, produce, manufacture, or consume that isn't affected by the price of energy. And if you do away with fracking, you might as well get ready to, uh, you know, to raise the price of everything without anybody really benefiting from it. So he, Biden keeps saying that it's only on public land. First it was, I want to ban all fracking. I want to get out of fossil fuels. Right. Then it was, whoa, 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 wait. I don't want to do it all. I just want to do it on public land. And now he's saying he doesn't want to ban it at all. Tell us about public land and the difference here so that people understand what we're yeah. talking about in terms of the impact on jobs. The um, American Petroleum Institute, I have their report here in front of me, and mm -hmm. they say that there's up to 10 to 11 million jobs impacted by fracking and the oil and gas industry because there's a lot of indirect jobs that will get impacted. Well, as I said earlier about the value chain in our economy, think of everything that you use in the course of a day. Um, there's a supply chain, not just to uh, you know identify and then recover and then manufacture uh, and uh, refine oil, transport oil, but everything that's around it, everything from the restaurant owner in the oil patch to, to the widget maker in Ohio or wherever it might be. There's, there's so much associated, not to mention the cost of everything, the cost of, of uh, farming, for example example, would go up, go up significantly, as much as maybe 43% right. um, it, it, with, with a oh, ban a on fracking. Point. And, you know, take pre there's yeah, Price Waterhouse that said it's about 10, 10 million jobs that are directly supported. Well, I think it could be much, much more than that. They, they're talking about a $7.1 trillion in GDP loss. Now, just imagine that by 2030. That, that's, yeah. you know, that's a third of our economy. So, uh, no, the energy, and, 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 and by and the way, the we're going to talk about national security. Think about national security implications. The journal, the journal has written uh, about it's not, you know, you could say that you don't want to end fracking, but then just regulate them to death, uh, putting right. on new rules and new regulations, making it mm -hmm. way too costly for these companies to survive. So this is an issue that, of course, we're watching closely. I know it means a lot uh, very much to you and North Dakota. Let me get uh, your comments on the business of the Senate this week, set to, to confirm Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court today. Yesterday on Sunday Morning Futures, I spoke with your colleague, Senator Ron Johnson, about what he's expecting, and then I want to get your take. Listen to this. Sure. Are we on track for a floor vote? Will you be voting to confirm Amy Coney Barrett tomorrow morning? Absolutely, and it'll be a real pleasure to do so. She's a wonderful person, a great judge. You know, she really ought to get at least as many votes as uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg got, 96. I ought to get 100 to zero, but uh, that won't be the case. It'll be a partisan vote, but she'll be confirmed later tomorrow. Senator, do you believe you have the votes to com confirm ACB? Because I know that there were some of your uh, colleagues, even on the Republican side, who were pushing back until after the election. 
Well, some people were pushing against the process and, and the time, you know, timing of it, but I believe we'll have 52 Republican votes. I, I think maybe Senator Susan Collins will be the only Republican that does not support or does not vote for Amy Coney Barrett, but that'll largely be a protest over the timing. So I, I agree with Senator Johnson, and I think, you know, I'm here because of this. I am a product of the Brett Kavanaugh um, Fiasco two years ago. My my opponent was a sitting Democrat who joined in in the uh, the attacks on Brett Kavanaugh and voted against him. My my uh, citizens, my uh, voters rejected that in a big way, and I you know I beat a Democrat in a blue wave by 11 percent. So uh, this is the moment that I'm not going to shrink from for sure. I'm I'm like Ron. I'm yeah. I think it's going to be a great pleasure to vote for her. Well, that was quite the circus over Brett Kavanaugh. I agree with that. Senator, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. We'll be watching all of the above. Senator Kevin Kramer. We'll be right back. Thanks. Stay with us.